Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Today we are going to be reminded of the Ten Commandments. Some will say that the rules that we are about to hear are basic common sense. And yet strangely, God thought it necessary to tell Moses to instruct the Israelites these commands. It does make you wonder how far from God the Israelites had fallen to be told what I have heard ardent atheists refer to as basic human morality. Read in Deuteronomy chapter 5 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Moses called to all Israel and said to them, Hear Israel, the laws and practices which I speak in your ears today, you may learn them and observe to do them. Yahweh our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. Yahweh didn't make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all here alive today. Yahweh spoke with you face to face on the mountain, out of the middle of the fire. I stood between Yahweh and you at that time, to show you Yahweh's word, for you were afraid because of the fire, and didn't go up onto the mountain. Yahweh said, I am Yahweh your God. We brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make an engraved image for yourself, any likeness of what is in the heaven above, or what is in the earth beneath, or that which is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them, for I, Yahweh your God, am a jealous God, visiting the wickedness of the fathers and the children, and on the third, and on the fourth generation, of those who hate me, and showing love and kindness to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yahweh your God in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy, as Yahweh your God commanded you. You shall labor six days, and do all your work, but the seventh day, is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God, in which you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your slave, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your livestock, nor your stranger who is within your gates, that your slaves may rest as well as you. You shall remember that you were slaves in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God brought you out of there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore, Yahweh your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, as Yahweh your God commanded you, that you may live long, and that you may prosper in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not desire your neighbor's wife, neither shall you desire your neighbor's house, his field, or his slave, his ox, his donkey, or anything that is your neighbour's. He always spoke these words to all who were assembled on the mountain, and to the middle of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness, with a great voice. He added no more. He wrote them on two stone tablets, and gave them to me. When you heard the voice of the middle of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, you came near to me even all the heads of your tribes and your elders, you said, See, Yahweh our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the middle of the fire. We have seen today that God does speak with man, and he lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear Yahweh our God's voice any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the middle of the fire? as we have, and lift. Go near, and hear all that Yahweh our God shall say, and tell us all that Yahweh our God tells you, and we will hear it and do it. Yahweh heard the voice of your words, when he spoke to me, and Yahweh said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there was such a heart in them, that they would fear me 
and keep all my commandments always. I might reward well them with their children forever. Go tell them, return to your tents. As for you, stand here by me, and I will tell you all the commandments and the laws and the practices which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. You shall observe to do therefore as Yahweh your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the way which Yahweh your God has commanded you, that you may live, that it may be well with you, that you may live longer in the land which you shall possess. Yeah.